This is the Sony Bravia Theater U, and it's like nothing I've ever tried before. The closest analogy is a pair of Bluetooth headphones, but it sounds nothing like headphones. This is a USB-C port. You use it to charge the Sony Bravia Theater U or to connect a wired analog audio source to it with the included cable. This is the power button and this is the microphone mute button because yes, you can use this as a wireless headset. The plus and the minus are your volume controls and this button in the center is to switch between headset mode and speaker mode. The back of the device consists of two padded shoulder rests connected by a rubber neck piece. And the front are two cloth covered speakers. The Theater U fits easily and comfortably around your shoulders. It weighs about one and a half pounds and it's just enough weight to feel a bit like a weighted blanket in all the best ways. Sony calls this the Theater U, so they obviously want you to watch movies with this. And I have, but you can also use this for listening to music or gaming or the aforementioned headset mode. Let's start with the least exciting feature, the headset mode. If you have used Bluetooth headphones to make a phone call, this is a very similar experience. And you won't be disappointed. The person I called sounded clear to me, I sounded clear to her. What more can you ask? Listening to music on a Theater U is a wonderful experience, but it's not like headphones and it's not like a 5.1 speaker system. The speakers point up towards your ears, which reduces the left and right channel experience, but it doesn't eliminate it. The best way I can think to describe it is instead of being in the audience facing the stage, it's like you are sitting on the stage, which is a completely different perspective and one that I quite enjoyed. I don't do a lot of gaming anymore. I used to, but now I do this. It's my understanding that the Nintendo is the only major console to offer Bluetooth headphone connectivity. The Xbox and the PlayStation still use wired connections, but the Theater U has you covered with this included cable. You plug the USB cable into the Theater U and the analog cable into the console of your choice. Until I tried the Theater U, I didn't understand the advantages it offered to the gamer. Yes, you can wear these and it will reduce the amount of escaping audio to disturb anyone else in the house. But that's not why I like this. I like this better than headphones because when you wear headphones and you hear something to your right, you turn your head to the right, the headphones turn with you. With the theater you, when you hear something on your right, you turn your head to the right, your ear changes position relative to the speaker and it gets louder on this side and softer on this side. That is a far more immersive experience. As for movies, I tried the Theater U with Top Gun Maverick, figuring that something like that would really showcase the benefits of this product, and I was not disappointed. Again, this is not like a 5.1 system. This is, you are Maverick, you are in the cockpit. You feel totally immersed in sound. It's a different experience, a very, very wonderful experience. I'm not saying it's better, I'm just saying you will love it. Another difference between the Theater U and headphones is that these are not designed for maximum volume. They're loud enough, but this is not a device for the hearing impaired. Another difference is how the Theater U handles bass. It, the bass sounds fantastic. That's What I'm talking about is that the speakers rest on your collarbones and vibrate your collarbones, which really adds to the immersion of the experience. When you increase the volume, all the frequencies go with it, as you would expect. However, at about 70%, the bass stops increasing and only the treble is increased. I think this is to enhance vocal tracks. 
you'll get about 12 hours of battery and a single charge, which I think is enough to watch all of the Lord of the Rings director's cuts. Alternately, if you work from home, you can use this as a music listening device and easily take calls when the need arises. There is also a feature called the Sony Spatial 360 that is compatible with Bravia TVs. I don't have one, I couldn't test it, but um, if you know what that means, it's here. As for comfort, I've been wearing this for the past four hours and I don't even notice it. I realize that this technology is not a new product category, but it's the first time I've ever tried something like this and I love it. I love the Sony Bravia Theater U. I give this a five out of five stars. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you.